And notice I put these after unit type 0 was set. Um, don't put these before unless you're doing a direct unit. Wouldn't make sense because these get set here, then these get set to unit type 0, so they all these all become zealot. So by default there you'll get a unit, and periodic spawn, let's make it like 2 seconds. So it's actually more of a frenzy and less of a waiting game. Um, the dialogue now. Here was an issue. Uh, let's make this 600. Um, 250. And you could add an, you could add another button onto it and position it in the top right and make a little X and make it so when the person presses that it, it hides it and then or it, it minimizes it a bit or something. Um, you can explore with this. This is just to show a start kind of a starting way of doing it. And I noticed that the things were a bit big. I mean, I could easily make this 50. Actually, I think I will, and then resize this. This could be another 50. I will have to fix the uh, offsets, though, now. It's kind of a pain. I wish we had, like, a little graph builder that we could use for this, for building dialogues, drag and drop sort of thing. Um, so this is going to be 50 offset by 50, so 100. So this will be 110. 110 plus 50 is 160, so this will be... Uh, 170, I think. 110. Actually, let's put no gap in between. So it should be 50, 50, that's 100, 150. And this one will be at 200. And this one... Um, actually, by default, I think we need to offset these a bit more. Uh, 70. Sorry about this. So what did I add? 20. And then I think we can decrease the size now because this is only going to go 220, 270. This could be probably 300 now, nicely enough. And one thing you could do um, is, let's see. Well, I don't know if most maps do this, but you could check in here. Um, you could check uh, player group, pick each or actually you'd want to do, um, this is just to check if a player is there or not, you want to do pick each integer from 1 to 4, and then do a, another action in there, general, if, then, else, and I'm doing this last here, um, for a good reason, so that if their nexus is gone, they're not panning to nothing. Um, if comparison, change this to be player, status of player, if status of player function p p there pick integer, if the status of player picked integer is equal equal playing, so if the player is playing, or I mean if the player is, uh, well, let's leave it at playing and then put not equals here. That's a better way of knowing if they're not in the game. If they're not playing, then let's unit remove. And because we don't know what their unit is, we'll just do random units in region, value, nexus. So remove a random nexus in the entire map owned by player, function, picked, integer. And so it's going to do that. It's going to just remove a random nexus owned by them. And since you only have one, it'll only pick that one. Um, so it'll remove your nexus if... Uh, if you're not in the game, and then periodic spawn, it only searches for Nexus anyway, so uh, so it's not going to have spawn a unit for them. And let's go in game and test this out. Okay, this looks a bit better. We'd have to resize that. Close the tip. Our units are spawning by default, and um, unfortunately, oh, um, and one thing you want to do actually is disable. I'll do this after. Is disable the Zazelet button right away, um, so that. They can't click Zealot after they, even if they still have Zealot. And um, one thing you guys might notice is that there's no other players here is because none of them are actually active. Um, if I set them to computer players, and see the ordering thing doesn't work actually um, because they don't exist. It's ordering them to like off the map. Um, and I don't know, you could fix that or I can fix that and when I put the map deal link in the uh, description of the video. Um, so this could be resized a bit. We should disable the zealot button right away, and um, we could fix the ordering.
And this is how basically I build maps. Is you just like take it one bit at a time, come back, fix, come back, fix. So clearly this this dialogue needs to be a little bit longer. Uh, 350, and then we need to offset a bit more. 100, 30 more. 150 here. 200. 250. And um, let's see, what else did I say? Uh, periodic spawn. Uh, where's the ordering? Yeah. We could do it. We could do another condition. Um, put an and here. Do another condition, and check that the. Um, let's see. Player has a. Uh, where's it? You know, count. Uh, where's count? Number of units in unit group. So we could check that. Number of units in. We could count how many nex nexuses they have. So and in uh, nexus, we could change this to. In the entire map owned by player, player one in this case. Oops, greater than or equal to one. You could probably just leave it at one equals equals one, but I'm just doing that to be safe. Paste that in there and drop both of these under the end. And uh, for player two this time. And let's drop an and in here as well. And drop this under and paste another one in. Doesn't matter on the order really. Um, and for player three, check that they have a nexus. And then another and here. Paste that in. Drop this in. And check for player four that player four has um, one or more nexus. Well, most it'll just be one, but and then you order your guys. So that means they won't be able to order to places that don't have nexus. And um, the other thing I wanted to do was uh, disable. Disable. Let's do it right under here. Oops, did I copy it properly? Okay, let's disable it right when the first one is made. Disable last created dialog item for, and we can just do all players or active players. So what? Um, so the zealot button will be disabled, and let's save and go check if this is finally done. Okay, so we can't click this. This is all nicely formatted now. We're getting zealots, and if I set the players, the enemy players, to computers, they would be here. Because, or if I played on Bnet right now with uh, with real people, they would have nexus, nexuses. And let's change to marine. Let's type dash one. That's fine because this is my base. Dash two, they're not doing anything. Dash three, dash four. So that's good. And the order tip is nice, and um, yeah, that's basically all I wanted to show. That uh, it, is, it really isn't that hard to make a map like this, and it can be quite rewarding to actually get this grunt work out of the way and then actually balance it and make a cool map. Like, uh, like uh, what what are some examples? Like, well, Footman Frenzy from Warcraft Three and various other cool maps. So, thanks for watching, and um, I hope this was cool for people to see how just how easy it is to make one of these maps. So, thanks for watching.